Hi everyone, as the deadline closes by, let's quickly get through uh, some of the important things that you can work with text. In the last tutorial, you learned about how you can actually uh, place text. Uh, we, will little, we will go a little beyond that in this particular tutorial. Well, let's begin. Uh, let's place the document that I want to have in this particular text box. Let me choose a smaller one like this one. And here it comes. Well, as you can see that uh, the text is filled up in this particular text box text frame and you can see a small red box with a plus sign this is basically an offset which is telling you that there is more text okay I have already drawn one more text frame here so basically this text should follow up with this text on the next page now how do I connect these two text frames you can click on this box and you can as you can see there is an icon which comes which looks like a chain now if we click anywhere inside this particular text frame this text will overflow into this text frame so let's see how it looks we'll click and here it comes now since there is no red box here it is basically means that all the text is exhausted which means that your job is done but how does it work okay every text box has got an inset and an outset okay now this is empty which basically says that there is no text beyond it okay now this has a small triangle which says that there is more text and here it goes the the following text it, as you can see a small red box here small box with a triangle okay that's an inset and here is it's empty again so if you want to see how this connection is working go to view and go to extras and click on show text threads this will show that this text is following up to this okay let me zoom out and let me show you another quick example okay let me just zoom in here uh, say for example you build a text box like this and you fill it up with uh, say I copy this text and I paste it here as you can see this is a red box here I can click I can click on this red box and I can make as many box as I want based on this same example and you can see this text thread at any point of time I don't want if I want to break this text thread, I'll just click on this thing and click inside. Now as you can see that there's more text coming up from out of this and there's no text thread. In a similar way, I can actually begin this text on a different frame altogether by clicking here and drawing another, another box. Okay, And this will actually create one more text box where the text is actually following from here. Now you can see the whole text thread right here, isn't it? One another very powerful feature that people don't you normally use is actually the text frame option. For example, in this particular page, I have this text frame and I want to work around with it. Go to object and look for text frame options. Now you get this dialog box, okay? You set your preview switched on. Now as you can see, there's so many options here. The first one, I'll go one by one. The first one is for columns. So within a text frame, you can create more than one column. And this, you can always adjust the size of the gutter. You can also adjust the width of each column. Yeah. Now, as you can see that this is actually going out of the margin. Okay. So if you make it a fixed column width, okay. Um, then what happens? Yeah. And if you increase the column width, it will jump exactly and it will follow the, the exact column width that you have just specified here. Now if I just switch off the fixed column width and I reduce the number of columns from 2 to 1, you will see the change happening here. This inset spacing is basically the spacing between the text and the text frame. As you can see, this clinging on to the edges, you can always control that with the top, bottom and left and right. Always make sure that you click and switch off this one. Otherwise, it will al always increase at a similar fashion for all the top, all the four sides. So you can work on a top only. Okay. And you can work on the uh, uh, left also and so forth. So basically this helps you to uh, control the spacing between a text frame and the text. 
let me go back to zero for each one of them and I'll click on this one so it will maintain zero for everything this vertical justification is very uh, important to understand because right now it is aligned to top which means even there is empty space in the bottom all the text will cling on to the top if I can change that from top to center and it will come in the right in the center of the whole text frame I can bring it to bottom also and if I if I delete anything from top it will make sure that it starts from here similarly you can also click on justify but I'll, I'll normally go with top because that's what I'm more used to working with 